Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Casey Cat, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my manga and light novel collection. So a few weeks ago, I posted a video called My Anime Merchandise Collection, and I said in the video, if that video get, reaches 10 likes, I will show you guys my manga and light novels collection. Yeah, I did say that right. Okay. Um, and that video did get to 10 likes last week, and I am so happy. Thank you guys so much for liking that video. It was probably one of my favorite videos to film, so I'm really glad you liked that video as well. So, um, I separated all of my mangas into sections by series, and some of them are complete, some of them are not, and sadly my favorite manga store had closed down that's near me, so I haven't been able to uh, buy manga recently. But hopefully I will be able to buy more soon and I will be able to complete this series that I want. Um, I'm going to start with the completed series and then I will show you guys the um, smaller amount of books. I don't know why I can't talk. Um, and I will tell you guys where I got them and my rating or if I liked it or not. And yeah, but before we get started, don't forget you guys can check me out on my Instagram. Snapchat and my Twitter. Those will be down in the description below and I am starting to post behind the scenes content, uh, little sneak peeks at my recording, and I'll also be posting in the making videos um, before they get posted, so look forward to that. Also, I just want you guys to know, try to make this intro as uh, short so we can jump right into the manga. I'm actually filming this Monday because I am going to Florida <laughs> Friday. I will still be posting videos, don't worry, you'll get a video every single week. Um, so I'm really excited for that. Okay, now that I told you guys about that, I th yeah, um, let's jump on in into the manga collection. Let's go. So in my room, on my bookshelf, I only have like um, the first book of every series on the bookshelf. So now that I have them all out in front of me and organized, I'm really, I'm realizing how many I have, and I'm like, where did all these books come from? Um, some of these books I bought online, some of them I bought from Second and Charles, and some of them I actually bought at my favorite manga store. But my favorite manga store had shut down, which I was really, really sad about, because there's not one near me, so I was really sad about that. But hopefully I will be able to buy more very, very soon so I can complete the series of ones that haven't been completed. Okay, so now let's just jump into the first series I want to talk about. This is, um, I have 10 books of the series. I have uh, the first, in anime terms, I have the first complete season of Assassination Classroom. This book series was my first manga series I ever bought. And I got the series from Amazon. I think it was $9 to $10 a book because I bought them perfectly new. And I absolutely love the series. I love the manga so, so, so much. I also love the anime. I think I actually bought the manga after I watched the anime because I fell in love with the anime. In my anime merch, I showed my uh, fan books that I had. So, yeah, I was addicted. I still am. I love it so much. I also cosplayed as Nagisa Shiota. The main uh, male protagonist, protagonist, the main character. So yeah, I was a obsessed and addicted to the series. Still am, like I said. So I have let me see, the first ten books, or in anime terms, I have the first season of Assassination Classroom. The only reason I didn't get the second season is because it was nine to ten dollars a book, and I have ten books here. So. Um, so I didn't get the second season. Um, if I could find them cheaper, um, I probably would get the second season. But for now, I just have season one. And I rate this um, on a 10 to 10 scale. Uh, 10, core sense, 10 core senseis out of 10. Probably a thousand because that's how much I love the series. I think my voice is cracking. Oh my gosh. Okay. So the next series I'm going to show you guys is my second favorite. I also have 10 books, but I have seven of the complete series, two spin-off series, and the first book that started it all. It is, let me see, I'm just going to show you guys the first book, Alice in the Country of Clover. Well, this series is called Alice in the Country of Clover, the Cheshire Cat Waltz. I have 
the complete series of um, the Cheshire Cat Walt series. Oh my gosh, that's so hard to say. It is seven books, and these are. Um, I bought half of these, and then my mom bought the other half to help me complete the series, and I was so happy about that because the Cheshire Cat is probably my favorite of all the characters from Alice in Wonderland. It's also my favorite fairy tale, so I was really happy that I found the Japanese adaptation of the series. Uh, okay, so the one I talked about that started it all is Alice and the Country of Hearts. Am I holding that right? There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's right. It's upside down on the back. Um, so Alice in the Country of Hearts is kind of the Japanese anime adaptation of Alice in Wonderland. So when I saw this in the in Second and Charles, I had to have it because Alice in Wonderland is my all time all time favorite fairy tale. I I think I've watched um, every episode that no not every episode. Every time I see in anime do an episode of Alice in Wonderland, I watch it and I love it. I think my favorite is CL CL, CL Fanheim of Wonderland, the Black Butler, um, Alice in Wonderland, and that was just too funny because CL the straight face, um, no smile, very serious, thirteen year old, and Alice in Wonderland and his Alice dress slash slash shorts was just too funny, and <laughs> it had to be my favorite. Okay. So the next ones I want to talk about are, um, these are like the spinoff of Alice in the Country of Clover. It is the Bloody bloody Twins, D and Dumb, and then Twin Lovers. I got these because the Twins and the Alice in the Country of Clover were my favorites. I just think it's so funny that they call Alice, I'm going to say this so wrong, oh, I think it's Oni-san, they say Oni-san, I'm so used to hearing, um, older siblings, so many ones, I can't remember, but they say Onisan, which means uh, big sister, and it's one of the ways to say big sister in Japanese, so I think that's really cute. But they also treat her like a lover, so it's kind of odd, and I also love they can go from, I guess it doesn't show on these books, they go from like little boys to these very tall, gorgeous men, so I love that about them. Okay, the next series, um, I think, ah, here we go. I was looking around them. Okay, so the next series I want to talk about is a light novel. My only light novels that I have. It is Sword Art Online. I have the first. I have the first four books. I put them out of order when I'm stacking them. So I have the first four books of Sword Art Online. If you guys have seen my previous videos and my plushes behind me, I love, love, love Sword Art Online. The I'm hitting the books. The anime and the light light novels and I also play the mobile games on my phone so I love this I love the series so much um some seasons more than others so I have one through four of the main series I have Ankard I probably said it so wrong sorry to die hard fans and then fairy dance of the light novels I have completed all four of these and I absolutely love them and this series I'm currently working on right now, it is Sword Art Online Progressive 1 through 3. And I actually didn't buy these myself. These were given to bought for me for they were Christmas presents for my younger cousin Ryan. Shout out to my cousin Ryan. Thank you so much, so much for these. Um, he gave me these for Christmas and I couldn't have been happier. So I really wanted this series in book form so much. I read it on my phone, but it's just not the same. Okay. So thank you so much, Ryan. Um, I'm currently reading book two. I finished the first one, and now I'm on book two, and I can't wait to finish them. Okay, so the next one I'm probably gonna, the rest I think are only two books. So the ones I'm gonna show you right now, I think these were the next books I got. Shukashara, I probably said that so wrong. Shukashara, book one and two. I watched the anime series about four, complete four times, I think four times, and every time I watch it, I fall in love with it, but then I get over it, and then I watch it again, I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot how much I love the series. Um, I think I talked about this in a past video, because I love the main, um, mm, he's not the main male character, but he's the main male love interest to me. He turns, his um, character change is a cat, so it's really, really cute. I'll probably put pictures as I'm talking about characters up so you guys can see them. 
because they're not on the manga, so, um, but yes, I have books one and two because I love the series so much and that I wanted to read the manga, but because the store shut down, I wasn't able to get the rest of them, so hopefully I will be able to complete the series. Okay, so another, now I'm just going by ones I bought because I love the anime. So, the next one I'm going to talk about is Maid Sama. Oh my gosh, this is one of my, I think this is one of the first animes I ever watched. And I absolutely loved it. <laughs> I loved all the characters. I did like seeing and learning about maid cafes in Japan. I've always wanted to go to one of those themed cafes, but I haven't been to Japan yet. I am a planning, we have been planning a trip for a few years, but um, we just, not yet. Um... I will go very soon, hopefully. Um, so I always wanted to go to one of those themed cafes ever since I see them in animes and um, in, oh my gosh, what's it called? Live action, um, and Japanese shows that I watch. So I always wanted to go to one of those, most certainly a butler cafe, a cat cafe, and um, I think I would try a BL cafe but I'm not sure due to I'm going with my grandma so might wait till I go with friends to try that cafe if you know what BL means you'll know why I'm like trying to whisper it okay so the next one mm -hmm. yeah let's just go with this one because it's right here in front of me um the high school love the high school life of a food 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 and I probably said it wrong, but, well, so a fudanoshi is the male, um, version of a fudoshi, which is a girl who likes, um, BL, boy love. Um, so I saw this series in, uh, Second and Charles, and I'm like, yeah, I want to see that, because I believe I watched the anime adaptation of this. I watched, like, the first episode or two, and I absolutely loved it because I thought it was so funny. So I'm used to seeing um, girls fans of Yaoi or BL, whichever you want to call it. Um, like in animes like Kiss Him Not Me, I probably could say the Japanese one, but I'm not going to try. Um, so I got this series. I only, they only had two and three, so I couldn't find the first one anywhere. Hopefully I can find it because I really want to read it. So yeah, this is the high school of, of, of food, food and Nishi. I used to say Fudoshi for the girls. I am so sorry. I'm still learning how to say anime vocabulary um, really well, but I'm still struggling. Okay. So I do love the series. I love the anime because it's just too funny. I mean, um, and I'm also a Fudoshi. I do love, I'll show you guys my uh, Yaoi or BL manga in a second. I do have a few. Okay, so the next one I'm going to show you guys is Otomi Mania. I am a big Otomi fan. Oh my gosh. So when I saw the series, I had to get it. And I don't think I even got to two pages before I started fangirling. It was this book that I started reading. So you guys can see it. Oh, I'm blocking it. I mean, how can you not fangirl? Look how beautiful these boys are. They're so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Um. Okay, now I'm looking through it. Oh my gosh. So the main episodes, the main... So in this book... Um, they're making an Otomi, uh, visual, I keep wanting to say light novel, or visual novel. So, they're making a video game, like an Otomi game, and the whole series is all these boys are pretty much making this girl blush the whole time. That's pretty much the short version of it. I haven't read the second one yet, but I do plan to. I don't know if there's an anime adaptation, adaptation of this. But if there is, I'll probably find it and I'll fangirl all over again. I feel like my voice is going in and out for some odd reason. Okay, so, okay, now we're going to move on to the BL. I have family home, so I'm, they don't know what yaoi means, and I'm not going to tell them, so. Um, okay, so, now we're moving on to the more um, BL ones, yeah. So these, this is, um, the manga series Loveless, I have the first two books, I didn't know what this was, but I saw he had cat ears, and he looked really, I love his character design, so I got these books, 
I see Bozzy's well as with my grandma, and I don't think she knew what they were. So I was really happy about that, and I know my family's gonna watch this video. I am so sorry. <laughs> um, sorry guys, but what can you do? I'm an anime lover. This is literally what we read all the time. Okay. So I think I watched like the first two episodes of the anime after reading the manga. And it is pretty good. I did like it a lot. I just haven't finished it yet because I got so many um, books to read and I've been pretty busy. I can't remember what it's, it's like. Everyone who hasn't, mm, how can I say this without getting demonetized? Basically, the kids have cat ears and the adults lose their cat ears. So he's a 12 year old boy, he has cat ears and a cat tail, and he's trying to find the person who killed his brother, that is all I can remember, I am so sorry, oh my gosh, I'm probably like red, but you can't see it on camera. Okay, so, that's that, I will fi hopefully finish that anime series and the books, okay. So the next one I'm going to show, I can't show it, but it is, let me see if I can do it, yep, The Absolute Boyfriend, so, I don't know why I bought these books. I guess because of the cover and because it said absolute boyfriend. I was so curious about it. I think I bought these. Mm, I want to say I bought these at Second and Charles. And yeah, I did buy these at Second and Charles. There, there's a tag on the back. Okay, so I bought the first two books and I read the first one and it was just as the cover suggests. It was pretty good. I did like it a lot. I haven't read this, I'm trying to do that, but it's not working very well. So I haven't read the second one yet, because um, I haven't finished the first one. I guess because my face went completely red at some parts, like it is right now. But it was pretty good. I, mm, I don't know if I would recommend it. If you're into shoujo, I am reading the back of it. Then I, then sure, why not? Okay, before we get into the, um last book. I want to show you guys these books. I don't think I read this book yet, but I did get it because it looked good in the store. Um, oh, also, I got these for free at Second and Charles. They are manga anime hits um, sample ones, and the one I am about to show you, it actually this one. Maybe, yep. It is Wake Up Sleeping Beauty, and the rest of these I have not read. Okay, so this one is called Wake Up Sleeping Beauty. I got this at Second and Charles. I only read a little bit of it in the store, but I haven't read the whole book yet. Um, I guess because I didn't find it very interesting or it just wasn't my interest. So I haven't read it yet. Okay, I probably should so I can move on to the next book. Okay, oh, I completely forgot I had books on the other side of me. I am so sorry. Okay, so I think this is one of the first ones I bought at the store. It is Fruit Baskets. Fruit Baskets, sorry. I do know this is a popular anime. I heard it about it a lot when I was in school, and I I never got into it. I got the book to see what it was about, but I got through half the manga, and I just couldn't finish it. I didn't find it very interesting, I guess, and it just wasn't my um, taste or wasn't my preference. I do know it's a popular one because when I brought the manga out, a few people was like, do you like that manga? So I love that anime. I'm like, mm -mm. so I, it's okay. It wasn't um, what I would read or watch. So I haven't read these. Um, a friend gave these to me, but they're a little dark for me, so I just have them now. And one is Trigon Book 2. You guys know what it is let me know and this one is Serif of the end vampire rain book 10 I probably would read this series it looks pretty good but uh, mm, I don't know it looks a little too dark for me okay so the last book we're gonna um, end on I can't show the covers no nothing's showing um, but Probably if any of my family sees this, they're probably going to question me. Um, so, sorry guys, I'm, I'm in my 20s, I can read this stuff. Okay, so, 
It's called Total Surrender. I did read this. It was pretty good. There wasn't um, there wasn't anything bad in it. It's just a yeah. It's a yaoi manga, and um, it says June, but I'm not sure. It is a yaoi book. I do. I did want this book because it was a yaoi book, and I wanted one <laughs> so bad. I actually did buy this with my grandma, and she had no idea what it was. <laughs> I tried to, every time I bought one of these older uh, rated mag books, I was kind of hide if I was with my family. And I know they're going to watch this, and I know they're going to ask me questions and want to look at them. I'm sorry, guys, but this is what half of anime is. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, it's called Total Surrender, and I, I rem remember reading this. I don't really remember what it's about. Um, I'm guessing, mm, yeah, I'm not going to read the back because I don't want to waste 10 minutes reading the back of it. So, that is, I think that is all my manga and light novels. I probably do have more hidden in my room, and if I do, I'll probably show them in a later video. But that's all the ones I have on my, on my bookshelf and in my um, bookcase. This was a lot of fun. I'm like looking around and I can't believe how many books I have and how many I read over I think three years. So I started buying manga in 2017 the same time I started buying merch. Okay so I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. It was so much fun. I really did enjoy looking at all my manga and seeing how much my manga collection has grown over the few years that I've been doing this. I'm really hoping I can find a manga store near me and get hopefully find the complete series for all of them ones that I haven't completed yet, as well as find more manga that I can read. If you guys have any suggestions for manga for me, comment down below or you guys can go on this Twitter post and comment which mangas you would like me to check out. I'm always open to ones and I'll be happy to look at ones you guys suggest. That also goes for anime. I will be happy to look at animes you guys suggest. Don't be afraid to um, tell me. I'm always looking for new ones. So don't be afraid to comment down below or tweet on this Twitter post or any of my Twitter posts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Let's see if we can get this video to... I'm going to go for 10 likes again. If this video gets to 10 likes, I'll do another collection video. I'll do my Harry Potter collection. Because that is something I would really like to do. I do have a big, big, big Harry Potter collection. Because I have been doing Harry Potter for a little longer than anime. So I have a huge collection of Harry Potter merchandise. So I would love to show you guys that. So Also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more fun fandom content. I do a video every week. And those will be posted between 10 o'clock and 12.30, depending on how long the video is and if the Wi-Fi likes me. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe. And our next goal, which is I put on my sign, I want to get to 100 subscribers before or even, um, yeah, before my birthday, which is August 3rd. That would mean the world to me. And we're already at 57, which is actually a lot, considering I've only started my channel in January. It makes me so happy. I really do enjoy... I really do enjoy these videos for you guys. I'm glad you like them. And yeah, I will see you all next week. And next week, I will have a completely different set, new background, and probably new merchandise as well. Because I'm going to Florida for about a month and a half, maybe. I'm not sure yet. But I will see you guys next week. Also, I don't think I said this, but it'll be quick. I'm thinking I will be doing my eat a bag video. Mm -mm. And maybe next week or the week after that, I'm doing that because um, my grandma has my newest eat -a bag that I talk about in my April Fool's video. So I'm going to be talking about all my eat -a bags then. Look forward to that. And I will see you all next week. Sayonara!